Let's talk about the best system and security auditing career and certifications. So, what's the difference between penetration testing versus security auditing? Well, first, unlike penetration testing, security auditing is zero or very minimal intrusion. Second, most of the time, it's based on compliance. Third, it's broader. It's based on policies, governance, risk, and many others. And lastly, well, think about security auditing as a lower level, not penetration testing, but only vulnerability assessment, but it's based on best practices. Not too many people appreciate auditing job, especially in the field of information technology. But there are many reasons why you should consider pursuing auditing roles, or at least adding auditing skills in your resume. First, high paying job. Yes, especially when we're talking about security compliance. Second, in-demand skills, especially for cloud and security roles. Third, it's one of the first step when pursuing tech executive roles, such as CTO, CIO, CISO, and many more. Fourth, it's also a good step if you want to pursue penetration testing slash ethical hacking career. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name's Dean Armada, and I am Career and Certification Captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. There is no entry level nor associate level IT auditing certification. It's recommended for you to have a solid foundation in technology prior pursuing IT auditing career. So the first certification is ISACAS CISA or Certified Information System Auditor. This is considered the best baseline IT auditing certification as it focuses on IT governance risk management, and cybersecurity. CISA is globally recognized certification for professionals who audits, controls, monitors, and assess an organization's information technology and business systems. And it consists of five domains. The main one is information system auditing process. Domain two, governance and management of IT. Domain three, information systems acquisition, development, and implementation. Domain four, information systems, operations, and business resiliency. And lastly, domain five, protection of information assets. And here are the requirements. A minimum of five years professional work experience in information system auditing, controls, or security. Candidates also must need to agree or abide the ISICAS Code of Professional Ethics. And... Candidates must also need to meet the CPE requirements to maintain the certification. And lastly, of course, you need to pass or successfully pass the CISA exam, which consists of 150 multiple choice questions. The cost is 575 US dollars for ISCOM members and 760 US dollars for non-members. So I don't want to call this professional level. This is more of specialization. So first, ISO slash IEC 27001 Lead Auditor Certification. This is for auditors specializing in Information Security Management System or ISMS by applying widely recognized audit principles, procedures, and techniques. The course usually consists of around 40 hours or four days of training and the final exam on the fifth or final day. This is a bit unique, you know, as you will see many different certification badges from Credly, as there are various training and certification that provides certified ISO slash IEC 27001 lead auditor, such as CertiProf, APMG, PECB, TUBZUD, SEMA, and many others. The course covers explaining the fundamental concepts and principles of an ISMS based on ISO slash IEC 27001 standards. It also covers interpreting the ISO slash IEC 27001 requirements for an ISMS 
from the perspective of an auditor. It also includes or covers evaluating the ISMS conformity to ISO slash IEC 27001 requirements and planning, conducting, and closing an ISO 27001 compliance audit. And finally, manage an ISO slash IEC 27001 audit program. Now, the exam proper is total of 80 questions in three hours, and most of the time, if not always, bundled with the training. And the costs may vary from the chosen training provider and specific location. Next, PCI SSC Qualified Security Assessor or QSA by PCI Security Standard Council. This is for auditors who wants to perform assessment of merchants who must comply with the PCI DSS or Data Security Standard. Take note that the QSA, this certification, is for both the company slash third party firm as being qualified to assess compliance to the PCI DSS standard. This is the same certification, QSA. Also for individuals, which is most of the time auditors, who will be involved in assessing security for company's clients, but will focus more on the individual cert. Like ISO slash IEC 27001 Lead Auditor Certification, you have to attend the training and pass the exam. But one of the difference is there's only one training provider, which is PCI SSE or PCI Security Standard Council themselves. And upon completion of the training course, you will be able to define the processes involved in payment card processing, understand the PCI DSS requirement and testing procedures, conduct PCI DSS assessment, validate compliance, and generate reports. Now, the requirement for this certification is surprisingly high. First, you should have a minimum of one year of experience in each of the following security discipline. So we're talking about one year for application security, one year for information, sec uh, information system security, excuse me, one year for network security, one year for IT security auditing, and one year for information security risk assessment slash risk management. The second requirement is you must have an active acceptable certification from the list. This include CISSP from ISA squared, CISM and CISA, both from ISACA, GIAC system and network auditor or GSNA, certified ISO 27001 lead auditor or internal auditor, and other few. The exam is 75 multiple choice questions, and you will have 90 minutes to complete it. The training and the exam bundle cost around 3,300 US dollars. The next specialization is CCAK, or Certificate of Cloud Auditing Knowledge. It's the first credential available for industry professionals to demonstrate their expertise in essential principles of auditing cloud computing systems. The CCAK credentials and training program fills the gap in the market for technical education for cloud IT auditing. Here is a little trivia. Actually, it's a collaboration of Cloud Security Alliance and ISACA, and this certification is like CISA but focuses on cloud security. Both certifications complement each other, and it covers top cloud compute threats, security assurance and risk, consensus assessment, auditing guidelines, and many more. It focuses on Cloud Control Matrix or CCM. This is a framework that is aligned to CSA security guidance for cloud computing and it's considered a de facto standard for cloud security assurance and compliance. It is recommended for you to have a good foundation with cloud security prior taking this exam. So it's a good idea to take CCSK or Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge or AWS Certified Security Specialty first. CCAK exam is actually longer than CCSK. It's a two hour, 76 questions, multiple choice written exam, and it costs 395 US dollars for CSA members and 495 US dollars for non-members. The next specialization certification is OSWA or Offensive Security Web Assessor. 
This is not a compliance-based auditing slash assessment certification. It is more of risk-based, but there is a reference associated to this certification, which is OWASP Top 10. OWASP stands for Open Web Application Security Project. We're going to talk about this more in another video. So a successful web application security application audit or assessment requires technical knowledge, meaning you need to know various web attacks for you to be able to identify various web threats and exploits. In short, technical skills from basic web application to web attacks are quite crucial. Yes, you heard it right. This certification is bundled with a course Web-200 Foundational Web Application Assessment with Kali Linux, and it covers four areas. First, enumeration of web applications and four common database management system. Second, manual discovery and exploitation of common web application vulnerabilities. Then it goes beyond alert and actually exploit other users with cross-site scripting. And lastly, exploit six different templating templates, often leading to RCE. So this course, Web-200 prepares you for the OSWA certification, and candidates will obtain a wide variety of skill sets and competencies for web application assessment. So, Offensive Security offers various Course Plus certification exam bundles, but the cheapest would be $1,599. US This includes 90-day lab access plus one exam attempt. The exam is a 24-hour practical hands-on lab, plus another 24 hours for documentation and reports. I would also like to mention the certifications. We have Certified Information Security Manager or CISM from ISACA. We also have Certified Information System Security Professional or CISSP, and we have Certified Cloud Security Professional CCSP, both from ISC squared. All of these certifications are considered advanced level credentials that encompasses a broad spectrum of security principles. They go beyond just security auditing and also encompasses areas such as security design and architecture, security policies, security operations, security risk management, and many more. I suppose to add GSNA or GIAC System and Network Auditor Certification, despite that I'm not really a big fan of GIAC certification, due to its ridiculous pricing and crazy renewal process. I was considering adding it to the list because it's the only certification that focuses on both system and network auditing. However, I found out the title is really misleading. It's really system auditing only, you know? They focus this on Windows and Linux system only. Well, what else? Oh, they also focus on web application, logging and monitoring for both operating system. What else? Audit processes, etc. No switch, no router, no application load balancer auditing. Bullshit. Think about it. Most of these are already covered under CISA or Certified Information System Auditor. So I decided dropping it. I don't want you to waste your money, time, and effort. <laughs>